Morning guys! Today we're gonna do a product review. We are gonna review the DTE pedal box. Okay, so we are using the Ford Everest 2020 2.0 4x2 model. So we are currently currently at 8.3 ang fuel consumption natin. So Titingnan natin if it really does save you some some fuel kasi uh, they're marketing it na 15% daw ang magiging mas matipid sa fuel. Tapos uh, we'll see also how it improves the acceleration, yung response and it has three modes. It has the city mode, yung pang city, yun daw nakaka-save ng fuel. Tapos sport and sport plus. Okay? So obviously bibilis ka doon. So I'll update you guys in a week kung how this thing goes and kung worth it ba siya kasi from what I know this is the most ano uh, pricey it is pinaka pricey na pedal controller throttle controllers in the market all right so I'll see you guys in a week okay so this is the DTE pedal box uh, naka-connect siya sa throttle controller mo so this is the actual unit ayan DTE systems so this one Yung first is naka-off siya. Tapos, this is the city mode. It has three levels. So, this is the lowest. So, once you go up, yan. So, habang pataas ka, may indicator siya. Okay? So, what I like, pag nasa city, the lowest. Tapos, minsan, pag may halong konting highway, yan, get na. But if you want to, ano, yung medyo gusto mong mabilis talaga ng konti so you go for sport mode okay so kung gusto mo overtake gusto mong humata or may nahabol kang time that's what you do and then this one is uh, I think this is the sport sharp <clears throat> so ito yung pinakamalakas tsaka pinakamabilis so naka full sya this one I tried uh, medyo natakot ako kasi Hindi talaga ako mabilis magpatakbo. I just wanted to remove the lag. That's why I tried this product. Okay? So, yung iba naman nag, nagtatanong, um, bakit uh, tawag dito? Hindi nila masyadong ma-feel. So, this is what you do. Dapat naka-off yung engine mo. Okay? Naka-off yung engine mo, and then you go sa green, which is city mode. And then, you hold the plus and minus button ng sabay. Now, this one will blink. Siguro, hold it for 10 to 15 seconds. Nasa manual yun. And then, once it blinks, then you step on your gas pedal. Uh, yun yung, that's how you calibrate it. And then, pag nakalibrate mo na siya, you can start the engine and you will really feel it. Kasi, ako din mismo, when I first tried this, uh, hindi ko siya nakalibrate so sabi ko parang ah yun na yun <laughs> tapos nung nakalibrate ko na sabi ko oops <laughs> yun pala yun that's how it's supposed to be so when you get this don't forget to calibrate it okay hey guys it's uh, day 2 yung gamit natin tong pedal box by DTE um, kahapon wala naman ako masyadong napansin na <clears throat> changes sa fuel consumption Though I felt the power, so tinry ko yung Sports tsaka Sports Plus uh, You can't really say it's it's uh, increase in power Kasi what it does really is it uh, tricks your pedal na nakadiin na siya So konting tapak mo pa lang, it tricks the pedal na parang for example 25% lang yung tapak mo Pero ang akala ng pedal is 50 or 75% na yung tapak mo So ngayon uh, Yan yung fuel natin. So, 23 kilometers to empty. So, basically, ubos na siya. So, sinadya ko. Sinadya ko na ubusin talaga siya. So, we really get to see kung kamusta yung fuel consumption. Okay, we're here at uh, Phoenix Uptown. Shout out uh, Phoenix Uptown. Uh, dito tayo. So, currently, ito na yung gas natin. So, 12 kilometers na lang to empty. Basically, Sagad na empty na. So, full tank natin and then we'll try. We'll try the pedal box kung ano talaga. 
Hi guys, it's day 3 na gamit natin tong pedal box So, galing akong Cagendi Oro And I just arrived here in Libertad uh, measured it It was 58 kilometers So, ayan 9.4 per liter yung ano So, tingnan natin yung balikan niya Usually, uh, 9.4 kasi halo city at saka highway um, Nung when I was using stock Ang average ko mga nasa ano, highway mga 10, 10.5, 11, uh, pakulang traffic mga 12. Stock yun. Tapos, ito kasi, sinubukan ko din yung sports mode at saka sports plus mode. Ayun, at talagang hatak talaga, hataw talaga. Um, pero yan, 9.4. So, tingnan natin kung balikan. Maybe it will make a difference. Saka naninibago pa ako kasi masyadong sensitive yung pedal. Okay? So, so far, okay naman siya. It made the, the driving experience more pleasant. Feeling ko parang sedan or gasoline yung dinadrive kong car. Kasi, alam nyo man, yung diesel medyo may konting delay. Pero, with this one, um, it's really gonna make your driving experience much better. Lalo na sa pag overtake. Okay? So, I'll see you guys in a few days. Hey guys! Welcome back! It's day 7. This is the last day ng ano natin ng review for the pedal box uh, by DTE Systems yan, medyo puyat ako lagi akong bumabiyahe ngayon so, sinagad-sagad natin yung biyahe natin kasi patapos na din yung project and when that's on another vlog, watch out for it anyway, uh, we started with 8.3 yung fuel consumption natin, so I'll show kung ano na yung naging fuel consumption natin after using the pedal box for a week okay, so 8.5 Umangat siya ng 8.5 So From 8.3 Umangat siya ng 8.5 Umangat siya ng 0.2 Okay So to answer your question Does this really save you some fuel? Kasi ang claim nito is it, It's uh, They're marketing this Na something that could save you 15% more fuel Well If you compute it on a monthly or daily or weekly basis hindi mo ramdam. Okay? You won't feel it. Pero siguro, I think, yung 15% na sinasabi nila, if you're gonna compute it ng buong taon, siguro yung patingi-tingi na yun, naiipon yun, at the end of the year, you get 15% more savings. But if you're expecting na yung full tank mo would last you, normally last you, uh, two, three weeks, depende sa biyahe mo, tapos if you're gonna use this, you get another week out of your tank, um, that's not gonna happen. Okay? So basically, what this does is it removes the lag, lalo na sa mga diesel cars. So, yung tapak mo na 25%, ang, babas, ang basa nung, nung reader or nung chip, uh, it's gonna trick your pedal reader to give you 50 or 60%. So, ganun. So, in return, feeling mo mas bumilis ka kasi konting tapak umaarangkada yung sasakyan. I think this one is for people who wants to improve the driving experience for diesel cars for example uh, kasi may gasoline car kami meron kami I could I could really compare no coming from the explorer the the forester yung tapak ng gasolina iba talaga alam niyo yan iba yan iba talaga yung tapak ng gasolina from diesel so what this does if you use this yung second mo you're gonna feel like you're driving a gasoline uh, fueled car. If you're the kind of person who's gonna buy this to save fuel, it's not gonna happen. Okay, so hindi yun to. But if you want, if you're the person who wants to improve your driving experience, um, mahili ka mag overtake, you wanna go from zero to one hundred faster, then this is this is something for you. Okay, but again, it does not add horsepower or torque wala, wala mababago sa makina mo ang mababago lang yung feeling na syempre, pag mas binuksan mo yung yung inject ng gasoline, eh, syempre mas may bilis yung takbo ng car mo so, ayun uh, it has three modes uh, city, sport, and sport plus so, ako ang ginamit kong setting mostly was 
uh, itong dalawa so si City and si Sport sa Sport Plus it was too sensitive for me um, siguro kung nasa freeway ka talaga tapos wala masyadong sasakyan and you wanna, you wanna go at it then go ahead pero kung medyo marami sasakyan or ano uh, baka ma-accidente ka kasi sensitive talaga yung yung pedal okay and I have friends kasi na bumili din ito tapos sabi nila parang walang difference Uh, guys, you have to calibrate this. Okay, so, you can get this at uh, AKR Marketing, jan sa Kaoswagan Highway in Cagayan de Oro. This retails for about, I think, if I'm not mistaken, parang 19,000 pesos. Okay, for this one. So, is it worth it? If you're the person who goes from point A to point B, ng 100 kilometers to 100 kilometers, and provincial roads, and you travel a lot, tapos you wanna overtake, you wanna feel more comfortable, you don't wanna feel any lag, then of course, it's worth it. Pero if you're gonna buy this, tapos, nasa city ka lang, well, I think it's it's not something, well, kung gusto mong mawala yung lag, then go for it. But if yung fuel consumption, I don't think this is gonna do the job. Okay? So, that's it for this vlog. Tomorrow, visit natin si Sir Alex kasi sa AKR, they're very accommodating talaga. Any questions that you ask, uh, I'm gonna show you the number. Uh, I'll give you the number and the contact person. This is the DTE. Uh, this is the pedal box by DTE Systems. And this is it for this vlog. So please like, share, and subscribe. Hey guys! So we're here at uh, AKR Marketing. So dito nyo mabibili tong pedal box. Uh, dito siya sa Kaoswagan, Kaoswagan Highway. Ayan. So, just look for this sign. Yan, Radar Tires, ATR Marketing. Makikita nyo siya kaagad. Alright? So, tingnan natin kung nandito si Sir Alex. So, he can, ano, he can explain this better. Ayun! Sir, good morning! Ano pa si Sir Alex? Hi, good morning! Ayan, so this is Sir Alex. Uh, siya yung owner ng shop and he's very hands-on. So, yan, may ready may ready na pala siya. Daradalang DTE system. Sir, uh, ano ba? How how do you really recommend this? Uh, para kanino tong mga DTS systems na to? It's for people who wanted to uh, produce more power, uh, more acceleration, and to omit the delay of our vehicles, uh, whether it's gasoline or diesel. So, walang problema to. Um, eventually, it will give you 60% on the acceleration and basically sa fuel savings naman uh, when being used properly it's up to up to 15% depending on the usage ayun so yes, yan sir. thank you sir so if you have ano ayan so if if you guys have the budget for this i recommend na ito talaga yung bilhin niyo because yung chip na gamit dito Swabe talaga siya. Hindi siya abrupt yung acceleration. It it would actually feel like it's really part of the car's system. Ayan, so this is Sir Alex. Again, lagay natin yung number niya dyan somewhere. And he will personally ano, uh, answer your inquiries. And siya din mismo actually nag install So like what I said, he's very hands-on. Ayan, so this is the shop. Also, di ba sir? Mga off-road at saka mga... Yeah. Suspension, ano pa ba? Yeah, mga wheels in, dito din, di ba? Winter, uh, off-road and uh, street performance. So, whether it's for trailing purposes or uh, on the road, uh, we do both. Yeah. Sige, thank you, sir. So, thank you guys for watching. Again, this is uh, the review of the DTE pedal box by DTE Systems. And thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. See you guys soon. Bye-bye.